Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakah Kodash, which is uh, all praises to the Most High. His name is Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world stubbornly, ignorantly calls Jesus. And Rakah Kodash means Holy Spirit. The double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Honorable mention to you, Akim, out there prophesying in diligence and sincerity. Peace to the elect. Uh, as the title says, Battle Rapper Daylight. This is Hebrew Israelites by the brother. Uh, Kabar, your call. So, uh, as he's as I press play and as he speak, there's a uh, certain things he say, which is uh, the scripture just like just totally disagree with, you know. So, without further ado, I'm not trying to entertain what the fuck you're talking about. Africa is not the whole. So I did some astral projecting yesterday. Okay, all right, you're right. Africa is not the homeland. Okay. But there is a homeland somewhere. You know what I mean? Africa ain't the homeland, Africa not the motherland. It's, that's that's not that's not true. I mean, it's pushed, it's taught. Let's see. What's, what's this? Uh, you know what? It might be four. I'm sorry, brothers. Uh, this is Galatians four and twenty six. It says, "But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all." So that's the mother of us all. All right. That, that area that they fighting for in the Middle East, the Fertile Crescent, Mesopotamia, when it uh, resulted in Israel, that spot of land, the Israel, Jerusalem, that is the mother of us all, man. It's not Africa. All right? So, you was right. But if you're going to say what's something not, you got to say what it is. Like, you got ISUPK saying the mark of the beast is not the chip. Okay, then what is it? According to scripture, but... That's a lesson for another video. And I backtracked. I backtracked almost 600,000 years ago. Okay. Um, the world is not six. So what? You went, to, you went to go see the most high, nigga? The world ain't 600,000 years old. All right? The Lord made the world. The Lord made the world in 7,000 years. All right? Let's prove that. He made it in 6,000 years and he rested. The, that last thousand years, all right? The first 6,000 years was creation and he rested. See, the Most High is not on a time... He's not, he's not governed by time. He's not governed by something that he created, all right? So, yeah, so, yeah, it was thousands of years, yeah. This is uh, 2 Peter 3 and 8. It says, But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So, the world ain't even a hundred thousand years on, let alone you done backtrack 600,000 years, so it's, you, you, would, it's, you was with the most high, huh? Come on, man. What else this nigga say? We've been lied to. By you? Israel, fuck all of that. Fuck all the Israelites. Fuck all, all them niggas are all program. All that shit is a lie. Israelites, Israel, all, all that shit is a lie. Why? Because why? Because you said... Because so so because now you said it's a lie, so now it ain't right. You who who are you? See see people see people see people give themselves too much credit, man. Everybody just so goddamn intelligent. Now you got it. Everybody just got it. Let's see what the Bible say about you though. It says uh. This is Sirach. Hey, this is Ecclesiasticus. 
known as, we call it Sirach, not to get confused with Ecclesiastes. This is in the Apocrypha, and this is part of the Bible. It's uh, chapter 18, verse 8. It said, what is, a, what is man, and where to serve he? What is his good, and what is his evil? The number of a man's days at the most are in hundred years. As a drop of water unto the sea, and a gravel stone in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. So a thousand years compared to forever is a, is a grain of sand or a drop of water compared to a sea or a grain of sand in comparison to like a, 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 a seashore. That's a thousand years. So a nigga, a man who might, who might hopefully live at best a hundred who the fuck is you? Who like what? How the fuck do how do you get how how can you say say anything to say you know? So this is uh Romans. This is Romans three, three and three. It says, for what if some did not believe? Oh, Israel, Israel, fuck all that shit. They are so. What if some did not believe? Shall the unbelief make the fake of the Most High without effect? God forbid, which is a strong way of saying no, like hell no, dummy. It says, yeah, let the most high be true, but every man a liar. See, you just a man. So how the fuck, who gonna listen to you? As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. You just a man. And then you, you, you a sorry excuse for a man. And the word sorry means worthless when you go into it. You a sorry excuse for a man, dude, and and uh, uh, if I if I'm I think you a faggot. I think you said something about a faggot, man. You a faggot. Daylight. This is John seventeen and seventeen it says, "Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth." So this Bible is true, man. Why? Because it's the Lord's word. Okay. Matter of fact, one more. This is uh, and this is how you know, and we speaking the Lord's words. We're not speaking our this ain't man's wisdom. This the Lord's word. We just we just messengers. Alright, this is Ezekiel uh, uh two. This is Ezekiel two. In fact, it said, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. We don't give a damn if you listen. If you do listen and hearken and, 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 and you know, and, 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 and try to fight and try to say, Lord, okay, we love you. And if not, we hate you. Fuck you. It says, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So if you, if you hearken, if you pay attention, if you don't, for they are a rebellious house. Yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So at the end of the day, when we prophesy what the Lord going to do to this place, and then he's going to do it, lo, it will come. It's going to happen. Then you're going to know, damn, it was right. You're going to know. The Lord said you're going to know. You're going to know. That's when you're going to know. Because you niggas think seeing is believing. You niggas, only, you niggas only perceive life through your five senses, man. You got more than five, but the five... Uh, uh, sisters that we taught, man, from Esau. See, taste, touch, smell, hear. If you can't, uh, if you can't process information like that, then you don't believe, man. Now, now what else this dummy said? Shit deeper than all of that. We're the childs of Israel. Oh, fuck all of that. All of that is a lie. This shit deeper than that, dog. It's deeper than all of that. Hey, bro. This nigga retarded. Hey. But you need to understand. What, nigga? The pyramids in South America is older than the pyramids in Egypt. And that's not true, dummy. That's not true. This nigga just saying shit. 
That's not true. The pyramids of South America is older than the pyramids of Egypt. Why? Because you said so? That's all the scriptures say. What is man? <laughs> what the f <laughs> ah! Hold on. Wait a minute, man. This Psalms, uh... Wait, this Psalm 49, man. Is it Psalm 49? Oh, hold on, wait. It's this Psalm 49, and... Uh, I'm just going to start at 19, man. It says, nah... I'll start at 16. It says, be not... Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul. And men will praise thee when thou doest well to thyself. Ain't it the truth? This the point I wanted. He shall go to the generations of his fathers. They shall never see light. And light represents truth, man. This light is the truth. Uh, John 3, uh, 3 and 19, for this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men have loved darkness more than light because their deeds were evil. So you were never coming to this thing, man. Now, so far, the route you're going, if the Lord decides, that's up to the Lord. But as it stands at this moment, 19, verse 19, Psalm 49, 19, he shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. Verse 20, man that is in honor and understand it not is like the beast that perish. Because you don't understand. You just, you, 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 you have been reduced. Anybody not in the truth, not in this understanding of, of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and the Bible, you, 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 you are reduced to a beast. You're just like an animal. You eat shit, piss, fuck, and, uh, because the Lord blessed us with higher faculties of animals, now you can entertain yourself. Or listen to some bullshit ass music, smoke some weed or some shit. Alright? Now what else did this oh 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 uh uh are the pyramids in the South America sit before the pyramids of Egypt according to who? Dummy. Dummy. This is uh Exodus chapter no, you know what it's for. Uh Salakia. It's the five. No, it's five. It's five. Exodus five. It's this Exodus five, right? It says, uh Wait a minute, is it? I want it, I want it when it says uh I know it's four or five, uh uh, but I'm just going real quick. So I, all right, boom. <laughs> this is a, ah, oh, it's, uh, it's Exodus one. This Exodus one, chapter 11. It says, uh, therefore they did set over them tax masters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ramses. Okay, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. It's talking about the Egyptians afflicting our people, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and in brick and in all manner of service of the, in the field. All their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. And there's pictures, uh, art, uh, 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 artifacts depicting this happening, man. The Israelites built the pyramids under the Egyptian captivity. Now, under this is how the pyramids got over there in uh, North America. Okay, this is uh, the Book of Second Ezra, chapter thirteen. Starting at like verse 44. Uh, no. I'll start at 40. 
those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Oshea the king, whom Shalmaneser the king of Assyria led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. Okay, so the children of Israel, the first captivity was Egypt. The Assyrian captivity didn't come to, uh, what was that? It had to have been hundreds of years later. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't know the date, but I know, I, I believe, uh, uh, you know, about a couple hundred years later, man. All right. Said, but they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, which is America, the Americas, that they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land, which their land is Israel. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow places of the river, for the most high then showed signs for them, and hell still the flood till they were passed over. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, and the same region is called Asura. Okay? Now, I heard that by boat, it takes a year and a half to sail uh, at that time uh, from here to there, man. From um, from America to, or, 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 the, or the, uh, the slave ships, man. A year and a half period, man. Lord willing, I'll go into that, man. So that's how they got here. Uh, it says, uh, then dwelt they there until the latter time, and now when they shall begin to come, because they had the knowledge to build it in Egypt, and that's why they came over here. That, and that, that's how they got over here. They look slightly different, all right? I, th I believe they call them ziggurats, but they pyramids nonetheless, man. That's how they got over here. Not how you... not. How you you don't even say it. You don't even say how they got over there. You just say it. The scripture says, "Prove us." See, uh, what's that? Uh, First Thessalonians five eleven. Is it 2 Thessalonians 5 and 11? Oh, no, it ain't no. Well, the scripture says prove all things, man. You can't just say something and just, oh, yep, it's true because I said it. The only person that can do that is the Lord, man. And, and he still prove it. Oh, it's 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. It says prove all things, hold fast that which is good. What do prove mean? To test, examine, scrutinize, to see whether the thing is genuine or not. As metals, to recognize as genuine after examination to approve to a deem worthy. And we're, what we're doing right now in this lesson, we're proving that you're that you're a liar and you're a dummy and you don't know anything. Okay? So what else you say? This nigga just sitting here just bugged. <laughs> now my phone wanna tweak out. Cause I want him to see, I saw this video already, of course, right? But I want him to keep talking. Cause I had another point I had another point, and that's and, and that's see that's that's called being set in uh, the defense of the gospel, man. People coming up against against what we saying. First of all, you're not coming up against us. You're coming up against the Most High. We just telling you what He said. You know that old saying, "Don't shoot the messenger." We just delivering the message. Now, if you don't like the message, then if if, if something on TV and I got the remote and I don't want to watch it, then I just turn. Just turn. Let's see if it works now and not in my day. When you really think about that, you have to reevaluate everything you were ever taught. We already did that. We already reevaluated everything we ever taught through Christianity, and the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai brought us to the truth, dummy. Who told me that? No one. 
All you have to do is learn astral projection and you can backtrack. Nobody has to tell me shit. I keep telling y'all, I don't, I don't have to study. Now he's not. See, the scripture says study. First of all, see. <laughs> you know. Scripture says study. To, and you know, I done seen this guy say various stupid, idiotic things before. But now you coming up against the truth and the. Come on, man. What is that? Proverbs. Come on, uh, come on, man. Oh, it's so like you. Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Well, you don't even believe in the word of truth, so you can't rightly divide it. You, you proved out of your own mouth. You don't study because you just got it. You guys give themselves too much credit, man. Proverbs three and five. It says, trust in Yahweh, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. That's what you're doing. This motherfucker said he back. I don't need no, I don't, don't got to study. I back, I, I backtrack. All you need to do is learn how to astro project. I'll I backtrack. Now, if that ain't the dumbest shit you ever heard, then you just accustomed to hearing dumb shit. This is a. Uh, Hold on, Salakia.